When working with a touch interface, for example a TPC controller, the interface tab becomes visible. For this example project, I have prepared a project with a TPC. Some RGB fixtures. And some timelines. Now I will create an interface for the touch panel. There is a 7 step wizard to guide you through the process. First I set a name, and select orientation. Next I select a theme. More themes are available to download from the Pharos website. Now I can start working on the first page of this interface. I set a name, and select an icon. As well as a background image. Here it is convenient to select a basic layout, though this can be easily customized later. Let's use a 9 button layout. I can add a navigation bar to make navigating multiple pages easier. Now let's select a button. And change its properties, here on the right. I'll add the caption, show 1. A button can have different states, and show different colors and designs depending on that state. Here we define the startup state. This is what a button looks like when the controller powers up. The button key represents the message that is sent to Faro's trigger when it is pressed. We'll leave this button at its default value. If I want this button to start timeline 1. First I go to the trigger page. And add a touch button event trigger. Then I select the correct button key. And define the action, to start a timeline. If I would like the button to change state after I press it. I can add an additional action, to set touch control state. This is useful if you want to show that a timeline is currently running. Faros triggers are extremely flexible. Often a task can be accomplished in multiple different ways. In this case, I could also add a trigger so that when timeline 1 starts, button 001 changes state. This helps to show the correct status on the touch device's button. And to show when timeline 1 is started by another trigger event. Here, triggers 1 and 3 both start timeline 1 which in turn sets the button 001 to cyan. Back in the interface tab, on the left, we can see the created page in the page browser. Let's add another page to the touch panel. I will start with a blank page, then add control elements to it, by drawing them. You will notice that the page switcher now shows two pages, allowing users to easily switch between pages. From the menu bar we can add different control elements. Here are buttons and sliders, as well as color pickers, lockout keypads, clocks, and text labels. As you draw your controls, they conveniently lock to prevent accidentally moving them with the mouse. Click the lock icon to re-enable size adjustment and movement. You can select any item. And use the parameters on the right to change its appearance. I can adjust the pages. Page switcher. And all other items. For buttons, I can even add an image, or adjust a local function, like changing the touch panel screen brightness. The key of a slider or color picker is similar to a button. However, unlike a button which is either selected or not, the slider offers a variety of slider positions. Let's add a new trigger based on a slider position. Here I select the slider to use. The value of this slider is not visible in the trigger but available as a variable. When I create an action to set the master intensity, and I want the intensity to follow the slider value, I simply enable variables, and link the intensity to variable 1, which is the slider value. Here I am working with a color picker. The three trigger variables are, red, green, and blue. In the action, I can use any and all of these three variables to get my desired color. Once we have created an interface, we need to link this interface to the correct device. As you can have multiple devices in your system. Select touch devices in the menu bar. And select the unit that should use this interface. You can have a single interface displayed on several touch devices. Or you can create a different interface for each individual device. Multiple interfaces can be managed via the manage window. 
In properties, you can adjust some of the top level settings. This is the theme editor, where you can adjust your theme if required. The network tab hosts the master screen settings and shows the current linked interface. The interface editor tab in designer helps you to design and visualize your interfaces. But for testing your programming and status feedback, we advise testing on a real device. This video has covered all the basics to get you started with interfaces. See the following videos to get started with scaling a system, VLC and Delhi.